Hey, what's something wrong this morning? Hmm, what's up? That's what I want to ask you. That lunch you packed me today is awful. You think I could eat that trash? I don't know what went through your mind if you thought I'd be eating that. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. What was wrong with it, though? I did make sure it tasted okay. And I didn't put anything in that you dislike, right? Ooh, it honestly worries me if you're not seeing the issue. Don't even bother talking about the taste. My appetite disappeared the moment I opened the lid. Did you not think at all about presentation? Oh, so that was the problem. My bad, I guess. But it's not like there's much I could do about it today. I used brown bread for the sandwiches after all. I know it's not the greatest looking, but it is healthy, you know? Brown bread has a bit more fiber, so it's not bad for weight loss and stuff. None of that matters when it doesn't even make me want to eat it. Honestly, looks like something my grandma would make. Sorry, I could try to put more effort into presentation from now on. But it's not like I always have the time. Today, for example, I had to make it in a rush. And it's not just for you. I have to make George's too, you know. It's not easy making lunch for multiple people every morning. It's not just the time and effort. I also have to take into consideration both of your diets and preferences. Why don't you just separate my lunches and George's? Then you won't have to think so much about catering for both of our needs. I don't need you caring for my health. I just need to not be embarrassed when I open my lunchbox. Were you not listening? I don't really have the time for that. Besides, that would make things too pricey with the ingredient costs. The budget is fine for now because I'm buying stuff in bulk. If I tried to make separate meals for the two of you, it would be too difficult to budget. And you think that is more important than my needs? You make it sound like you're in charge of everything. But don't forget whose house you're freeloading in. Hey, you shouldn't word it like that. It's a bit mean. I don't care about what you think as long as you're not doing your job properly. I better not see another lunch like today's one. My friends are going to laugh at me for how pathetic it looks. Sure, sure, I'll try. Hey, did mom say anything to you already? She was complaining about you again. <laughs> oh, is that so? That's a shame. I don't really know why. You really are hated, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I don't really recall doing anything that would make her hate me. Honestly, I think I'm doing okay. I've been giving my best, at least. It's not that you did something to make her hate you. She just doesn't like you as a person. You being present in the house is enough of a reason for her to complain. And what exactly am I meant to do then? That's a very unfair reason to be disliked, no? It's a stretch to even call that a reason. Maybe it's because you're so useless. Maybe if you fix that, then things could change. <laughs> what exactly is it that I'm doing wrong? I know I'm not perfect, but I think it's clear that I've been trying, right? Who knows? There's just something about you that makes you dislikable. That's a dumb reason to be disliked. And it's cruel. Also, it doesn't make sense. It wasn't like this when George and I just got married. I was still liked back then. If I'm disliked for the person I am, it would make much more sense considering that I'm not that different to the person I was before. Sure, maybe that's what you think. But people can change a lot and they wouldn't realize themselves. Even if it was as you said and you were the same as before, it could just be that you living with us was different to what mom expected. I'm sure she's just had enough of you. We could argue about the reason all day, but the truth is that she hates you. That just sounds completely unreasonable to me. And from what you're saying, there clearly isn't a solution for me to come up with myself. Can you at least give me some direction of what I can do to not be hated? You seem to understand your mom more than me, so... Yeah, you're right. Let me think. Oh, I think I have the perfect solution for you. She would stop hating you so much if you stopped living with us. Yeah, I think it's a good plan. Right. I have considered that before. If George and I moved out, we would have a lot more time together. Both you and your mom would have more privacy, too. What are you saying? Why would George have to move out with you? George isn't going anywhere. 
He's an important source of income for our family. That would be a big problem for us. My suggestion is that you leave by yourself. Honestly, we should have dealt with a parasite like you way sooner. It's sad watching you leech on George's income. Is that really what you think of me? I'm quite shocked. And even if you did think of me like that, it's really cruel of you to tell me directly. Well, I was just giving you my honest opinion. It's also what mom thinks too. I see. I really am hated, huh? So what, I'm expected to move out by myself and live alone? In a way, yes. I was more thinking that you should just get a divorce and leave kind of thing. Getting a divorce just because my in-laws feel inconvenienced. That's ridiculous. Oh, we're just more than a little inconvenienced. You're not just useless. You're detrimental to our family by leeching off of George. There is nothing good about having you live with us. We're just going to get rid of a parasite here. Sure, you can have an opinion, but it's mine and George's relationship. It's not for you to decide. Besides, I find it pretty insulting for you to call me useless. I do more than just sit around in the house, actually. Pretty much all of the chores around the house are shoved on to me. I'm pretty much single-handedly taking care of things around the house. Sure, you're still a student, so you should be prioritizing your schoolwork. But what about your mom? It wouldn't hurt for her to help a little with the housework. It's not like she's doing much else. But you're a dedicated housewife. You should be able to handle all the housework by yourself. Yes, that is what I have been doing this whole time. The only reason I'm suggesting that your mother help me is because she clearly has an issue with me. What makes things worse is that the complaints make no sense. If she doesn't like something about how I'm doing the chores, she could show me herself. She is the more experienced housewife. I personally don't think there's an issue with how I'm doing. It is definitely an issue with your attitude. You're not putting enough effort in, and you're clearly not trying to improve. A person who wants to improve would constantly look for flaws and points of improvement in the work they do. You're the opposite of that. Everything you do is subpar, and you dare say that you don't see any issue with yourself? Am I really that bad at everything? I know I'm not a chef, but cooking is one of the skills I'm proud of. Are you trying to make me laugh? You definitely shouldn't be proud. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I really do just suck. Yep, exactly. And now that you understand it, it would be great if you would get out of our house, please. Isn't that going too far? I don't actually have to leave over something like this, right? You don't have a choice. It was a collective decision from our family. You're not wanted in our house. Did George say so too? Of course he did. I told you that it was a decision made by the entire family. Even dad agreed. He also thinks that you're useless. Well, that's news to me. I thought that he and I got along okay. He mentioned how he doesn't like the fact that you only go to him if he calls you over. Oh, and about your cooking. He said that you're making his food really bland on purpose, then using his help as an excuse to do so. What? That's ridiculous. How am I meant to know if he needs me if he doesn't tell me? Does he think I'm psychic? As for the food, he mentioned himself that the doctor warned him about his blood pressure. I was genuinely concerned for him and tried my best to lower his salt intake. So it's dad's fault. No, that's not what I was implying. I'm just trying to say that some things are not in my control. And if they are, I've at least been trying to make an effort to do something about it. Then what about your driving? That's another thing mom complains about. She's always on the verge of puking by the time you're anywhere close to the destination. It's starting to make me feel sorry for you. <laughs> you can't even drive properly. If I'm being honest with you, then yes, I do suck at driving. But you don't have a license yet, and I can assure you that it's not as easy as you think. The hardest part about it is driving a car that is twice the size of what you're used to driving, and then having your mother yapping at you from the back seat. You really just love to place the blame on other people, don't you? If that's what you want to think, then sure. I really can't with you. I put out something, and you reply with nothing but excuses. 
I don't know what else I meant to say when the complaints that all of you have are so unreasonable. I've already admitted that my driving isn't very good. As for the other chores, such as cooking and cleaning, I'm not having it. If it was constructive criticism, then sure, I'll be happy to hear it any day. The problem is that it isn't. I'm just being unreasonably subjected to complaints about my existence in the house. I'm telling you already that I'm trying hard. Besides, how am I meant to put in more effort if I'm not wanted in the house? It's all so stupid. Not only do you put the blame on others, but you're getting angry at us now too. I honestly just feel bad for George. There's nothing you're good at. Mom was right about you being useless. And to add to that, you're also difficult to talk to. I don't know why you're getting so angry when I'm just trying to help you. What even made George ever want to marry you in the first place? I struggle to understand. That's not something for me to answer, right? I can't answer for him. But I can tell you that most relationships generally happen because the people involved are attracted to each other. <laughs> That's not even funny. That's the most cringe thing I've ever heard. If you're going to go with that logic, you are very clearly missing something. What about you are you implying that George could be attracted to? You are useless at everything. Your personality is a pain to deal with, and you're not even good looking. Unless when you were actually meant to say seduce and not attract. Oh, that could make sense. You're so gross. <laughs> no, that certainly isn't what I meant. Then what is it? I'm really struggling to think of a single good quality of yours. Does every person need something outstanding about themselves? I think there's more than just attractiveness and skills to a person. George was the same. He also didn't judge people based on the few things you can tell about a person on the surface. Oh, I see. You're the kind of girl that liked fairy tales and princess stories when you were far too old for them, right? I'm scared that you're going to start mentioning true love or something. <laughs> true love does sound nice. I don't see a problem with believing such a thing. But that's not the point I was trying to make. I just wanted you to know that there's more to a person than just labeling them with a list of qualities. It's fine if you don't understand that. You're still young and there's plenty of time for you to learn, so I'm not worried. I don't want to be lectured by someone like you who's about to be kicked out. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me. I saw a really pretty woman walking alongside George. I think it was around a week or two ago when I was out with my friends. <laughs> Do you remember exactly what day? I think it's likely just someone from work. My friends and I were out shopping during the day, which means it was definitely a weekend. Even if it wasn't, they seemed to be sticking a little too close to each other to just say they were co-workers. <laughs> Did you actually see this? I hope you're not just lying to stir up some drama. No, no, I'm being dead serious. <laughs> I was pretty shocked about it at first, too. I didn't even doubt the matter because of how clear it was that there was something fishy going on. After thinking about it, though, I reached the conclusion that it didn't bother me. I didn't know what kind of person she was, but it was certain that she was prettier than you. <laughs> I really hope that you're just misunderstanding something. Who knows? Maybe I am. I'm sure you'll find out pretty soon when you get dumped. <laughs> Honestly, though, if it does turn out that way, then please just be the understanding adult that you are and leave. <laughs> just pack your things as quick as you can and get out without saying anything. We don't need to hear any more of your excuses. If you really want to say something, then you can apologize to me. Say sorry for trying to lecture me about relationships when you're clearly not loved by anyone. Do you really not trust George at all? I really don't think that he's the kind of person to cheat on me. I am a little worried, but I don't want to doubt him based off of just one story. Who knows? You might be his wife, but as a sister, I also know him just as well as you. To be honest, I probably know him better because I've lived with him my whole life. I'm just going to tell you that he was for sure cheating on you. His face looked completely happy and guilt-free. <laughs> I see. I do agree that his thoughts show up on his face easily. Oh, I can't wait to see how you react when you find out. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go and ask him about it right now. <laughs> If you want to, then sure, go ahead and ask him. Don't lie and say that I asked you to. I don't want him to think that I don't trust him, which is true. 
I still do trust him. I'm just gonna see what I can do myself. If working hard like before didn't cut it, I'll just try to ask everyone some specific directions about what I'm doing wrong. Well, you're free to try whatever you want. Good luck, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really sure if that hard work will help at all when you get dumped. If that helps you to be less useless, though, I won't be complaining. <laughs> Don't be too harsh on yourself if it goes badly. It's not like any of us have any expectations left for you anymore. <laughs> right, I'll bear that in mind. Hey, I have some good news for you. I have some updates about the thing we were talking about last time. That doesn't really help. Is it about the complaints you all had about me? Oh no, not that one. About the woman that George was with? I saw them together again. They seem just as close as before. <laughs> right. And then? Mmm, that's all. I just saw them again and thought I'd let you know. What? How is that good news? Oh, right. I'm really sorry about that. When I saw them again, it made me realize that you would be gone soon. I accidentally said good news because I was happy that George would be replacing you with a prettier wife. <laughs> hey, at least it's good news for most of us. Oh, right. Congrats, I guess. Why do you seem so unfazed? <laughs> Had you given up already? No, it's not that I don't care about it or anything. It's just the same as before. I don't want to rush to conclusions over a few words without any evidence or proof to back it up. Especially when you consider that it's about the unlawful action of a person I trust. Why do you have to be so boring? What if I told you that they were clearly flirting? And I saw that it was George who was the one initiating it. The other girls seemed pretty into it too. I don't think they were testing the waters either. They straight up looked like a couple already. Right. Oh, you must be trying so hard to not cry right now. <laughs> Do you want to turn your video on and call me? I can help cheer you up. I'm fine. Are you sure? I really am fine. I'm not crying and I don't need you to cheer me up either. You don't have to lie. <laughs> I can imagine how your face looks right now. It's good that you don't need me to cheer you up. I thought that it was a pretty obvious joke. <laughs> you made me picture things I didn't want to, but I still stand with what I told you before. I won't doubt him over some assumptions. It could just be that they're working on a project together. If they're always together, then that would explain why. I would be worried if they were actually flirting, but it's pretty natural that they'd become close if they're always working on the same thing. I mean, sure, there's a chance of that. Don't you think you're being way too specific, though? He might not even have those kind of projects at work. I know that he does. It's how we got to know each other. Which is also why it sounded very specific. Ew, please don't start going into detail about your past with George. I don't want to hear you pathetically reminiscing about the good times. I'm happy that their situation is similar to yours, though. I was kind of just joking about her replacing you, but it's sounding more likely, which is exciting. Why do you seem so indifferent about this whole situation? You were like this before too, not bothered at all that your own brother could be committing adultery. Do you realize how bad cheating is? Well, duh, that's obvious. I know cheating is bad. If my future husband cheated on me, I'd divorce him in no time. Right, but you don't really seem too disappointed in George. I'm still not convinced that he's cheating on me, but you seem to be pretty certain about it. So, I was just curious about your weirdly good mood. I would be disappointed if George was married to anyone but you. But since he's married to you, I honestly understand why he'd be tempted to find another partner. You're pretty much just a parasite who does nothing but leech on his income after all. Isn't that just what your mother is trying to make you think? I'm sorry if the lunches I made you a while back bothered you that much, but I thought I've been pretty good to you otherwise. It's true that mom described you with those exact words, but I've started to agree with her. I was okay with you living with us before. Not anymore, though, because I've realized that what you're doing is just what's expected from a housewife. It's not just that it's expected, you even suck at it. Therefore, you're just stealing George's paycheck. Besides, it's not for me to decide. 
If George only thinks of you as a useless housewife, then you have no place in her family. I want to say that's not true. I'm sure that he still loves me. It's so cringe how you keep talking about love. <laughs> it's fine. You will understand it too when you're older. Ugh, I can't stand your arrogance sometimes. Don't you realize that you're embarrassing yourself? Maybe not now, but when you get divorced. <laughs> you'll realize how you were never in a position to lecture others. Besides, I don't need you teaching me anything. It's not like I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, I'm actually really popular, unlike you. So yeah, I think I'll pass on your lectures. That's good. And now you're sad because you realized you can't act like you're better than me anymore? You're so pathetic. <laughs> hey, I need to start preparing dinner soon. Make sure you don't come home too late, okay? Or at least let me know in advance if you think you'll be. So you lost your edge over me as a woman and now you're acting like my mom? Yeah, I can't deal with how petty you are anymore. I can't wait for you to be kicked out. And there we have it. You've officially been told to get out. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I can't say much, really. I guess it really happened. But I don't even believe it myself. I would never have guessed that he would announce it at a family dinner. <laughs> right in front of everyone, without any hesitation. Do you agree with what George said? Yeah, obviously. It's only natural that you'd want to be married to someone in your own league. If there's two people that deserve each other, then of course that's the better option. Oh, is that so? I personally think that there's something morally wrong with what he said. Deciding that you're going to marry someone else just because your mom likes them more? There's something really gross about that. At least that's my opinion. Even if that is the truth, the better action as a person would have been to at least talk to me about it. Making the decision all by himself and then announcing it like that? It's just cruel. If that's how you felt, then sure. Keep being sad. I just want to say that it was pretty manly. <laughs> Announcing it out of nowhere and then even saying it'll give you whatever you want in the divorce. You could say anything to him and his opinion wouldn't budge an inch. A true man's man. Sure, he did say that. He said it confidently, too. The thing is, I don't really think it's something that he should be so proud of. Paying the cost for a divorce is expected anyways. It really isn't anything that justifies him cheating on me. Who cares if it's justified or not? I'm just thrilled that you're finally getting kicked out. <laughs> you're really that happy about it? Yup, it's something I've been wishing for for so long now. <laughs> oh, good for you, I guess. I'm too shocked to know what I'm feeling right now. I would say that heartbroken wouldn't cut it. Oh, I'm not surprised at all. You trusted so much in George and the true love that he had for you. Oh. What are you even going to do from now? What do you think? Everyone agreed to George's decision. No one batted an eye at how wrong this situation was and decided to support him. There's nothing else I can do aside from just doing what I've been told. I'll be leaving as soon as possible, although against my will. Great, just as expected. I can't imagine what kind of nerve you'd need to not leave after that. <laughs> I can't really help it, though, can I? He just slammed the divorce papers right in front of me. Then your parents just started clapping. All of that then topped off by your party poppers. I was losing my mind. Something like that wouldn't even appear in nightmares. The party poppers were genius, right? I was so proud when I came up with that in the last second. <laughs> I went to George to ask him if it was okay, and he wouldn't stop laughing. <laughs> yeah, it takes more than an ordinary person to come up with that. Now that it's confirmed that none of you want me, I have no place in that house, right? You could put it that way. You really are delusional, huh? How is that delusional in any way? You all literally told me to get out. No, I was saying that it's delusional that you thought you ever belonged in our house in the first place. You thought things were going well at the start. If it seemed like that to you, it was actually just everyone trying to tolerate it back then. I see. Yep, I'm glad that you understand. If you'll kindly get out and never show yourself again, that'd be great. 
Okay, I'll do that. What are your plans? I guess you're gonna move back in with your parents or something. <laughs> right where you came from? Mm, I don't think I'll do that. I'm gonna find myself a place somewhere not too far from here. What? No, I won't allow that. It's gonna take some time if you're gonna start looking for a place to rent now. You're not trying to use that as an excuse to stay here longer, are you? Don't worry, I would never do that. Then when are you gonna be leaving? Just because all of us want you gone right now. Literally at this moment would be a little difficult. It will be really soon for sure though, so you can relax. I'm relieved that he at least had the decency to realize that he'd be paying for the divorce. The sooner he pays up, the more it helps, I guess. Sure, but that's not gonna be enough, right? I doubt there's any landlord that would rent a room to someone unemployed like you. I'm surprised you know that kind of stuff. Don't worry about it though. I'll manage somehow. Don't come crying back to us when you find yourself on the streets. <laughs> I think you're over-imagining things here. I really won't be struggling as much as you're thinking. That's true, I guess. I'm thinking too much about something I could care less about. <laughs> You seem awfully happy for someone who doesn't care. Oh, I cared. I cared a lot that you were in our house. I'm this happy knowing that you'll be gone. Oh, right. Sorry, I misunderstood you. I hope that you're only like this to me. I'm saying this for the sake of your friends and your boyfriend. If you're like this with everyone, then it won't take much time for them to leave you. There are some saints out there, but in general, a person will treat you similarly to how you treat them. You just had to, didn't you? One last lecture before you leave. <laughs> I don't need you saying anything about my boyfriend. You should try taking a look at yourself before you worry about others. No one's going to listen to anything you say if you don't fix yourself and become someone worth listening to. <laughs> right. You make some good points. A little late, but I'm glad that you're learning. If you want to do yourself a bit more of a favor, then can you not find an apartment around here? I really don't want to accidentally come across you at the grocery store or something. That would be the worst. Sorry, but I can't do that. I have my own reasons. There's something that I want to do around here. Like what? Did you find a guy or something? <laughs> no, nothing like that. Then what is it? Just tell me already. The only thing you care about is me leaving, right? Yeah, how many times have I told you that? Are you done feeling smart? No, it's not like that. I was just going to start searching online for places to live before going to sleep. I thought you didn't care about me, but it seemed like you wanted to keep talking, so... Oh, you're so annoying. You really were acting nice before just to deceive me. Is this what you're usually like? Not to everyone. I'm nice to people that are nice to me. I tried to be friendly with you because we were family. That's not the case anymore. So I don't really have a reason to treat you the same as I did before. Great. I was in such a good mood earlier, but you've ruined it, to be honest. Talking to you just tires me out. Just hurry up and get lost already. I will. Don't worry. Can I go to sleep now? It's getting late already and I need to pack my things too. Don't go pretending that you were keeping me occupied. I was the one having to deal with you. I just had to make sure that you were leaving as soon as possible. Go sleep or whatever. I don't care as long as you leave soon. So, how are things going? Have we lost our pesky little parasite yet? If you want to know if I've moved out already, then yes. Yes? Ah, oh, we need to hold a celebration. I'm so glad that I can finally breathe some clean air in our house. <laughs> Good for you. Are you telling me that I don't even have to eat the garbage that you dare call food? I've never felt as good as this. Yeah, you'll go back to your mother's cooking. Yep, the food that you ate growing up is the best after all. You could say that. Oh, I don't really know how to put it into words. It just feels too good to be true. I bet you couldn't imagine how great I'm feeling. <laughs> it's fine. I would rather not be able to understand. Oh, acting so tough, are we? No, it's just my honest opinion. I really can't wait for that pretty lady to come live with us. 
I think that you're getting excited too early for that. You would usually wait for a while after a divorce to get married again. That's what I would expect normally. I guess it's probably wrong to expect George to make decisions based on the norm. If she's that pretty, then there should be no issue. Yeah, it's definitely wrong to expect common sense from your family. I don't want you to apply your boomer expectations on our family. Our family won't be bound by your stupid rules. <laughs> sure, you're all free to do what you want. I'll just give you my opinion. Common sense and moral rules exist for a reason. You're not forced to comply with them, but most people understand the consequences when you don't. Thanks for the advice. It's really convincing coming from a single and homeless woman who has no skills. I'll dumb it down for you. Life isn't as easy or simple as you think. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not going to listen to you? The way you always talk like you're better than me irritates me so much. Sorry about that, but you'll understand soon enough. There's nothing for me to understand. Hey, how about we call it around here? We're strangers now, so there's not really a reason for us to talk. I'm kind of tired of it too, so... Is that fine? That's for me to decide. I already had enough of it long before you got tired. I'm just gonna block you right now so you won't contact me again. Hello? Can you not? Answer the call already! Oh, hi there. Wait, I thought that you blocked me. What happened to that? Shut up! I don't have the time to be discussing something so insignificant right now. What are you in such a rush for? George got fired! Oh, that's what this is about. Wait, you already knew about this? Yeah, of course. It's that pretty lady who sued the company, right? Pretty sure that's what got him fired. Why do you even know the details? How? I don't understand. You said you saw George and that lady flirting or something, right? They weren't dating or anything. It was just George one-sidedly following her around. That person is the sales manager of a different company. There was a collaboration between her company and George's. The two of them were the leaders of the project. After spending some time working together, he started inviting her out privately. She just couldn't refuse at the risk of the project failing. But that doesn't explain why you know all of this in so much detail. Because the same thing happened to me. How so? Everything was the same. I also couldn't reject him properly because of the importance of the project. Then I lost more and more of my privacy because of my inability to do anything about it. I kind of just let him convince me, which led to us dating, then eventually marriage. I refuse to believe that is true. No, it really was like that, which is what got me wondering when you told me about seeing them together. So I contacted her. And my curiosity hit the mark. She was put in the same position that I was in a few years ago. I told her my story and we reached the conclusion that it was worthy of a lawsuit. Is that what you meant when you said that you had something you wanted to do? Yes. That's ridiculous. Why do you have to do something so unnecessary? Maybe so that there won't be any more victims. How do you know for sure that she was the same as you? Maybe with some time she might end up liking him back. Surely that was the case with you as well, right? You wouldn't have married him if you didn't eventually come to like him. You were the one always yapping about true love. Stop acting like a victim just because things didn't turn out how you thought they would. No, I certainly did not marry him because I eventually came to like him. Then why? Because the company I used to work for at the time forced me to. They told me I would lose my job if I jeopardized the deal. Unfortunately, this lady was also in a similar position. George's industry has some real issues. So we worked together to have everything necessary to pass her claims and sue his company. So, the two of you were the ones who got him fired. Well, we were the ones who sued his company. It's not like we required them to fire him. 
So yes, you could say that it was us who indirectly made George lose his job. And all of that is completely separate from the divorce as well, of course. The alimony he paid me for the divorce was quite the sum. I wonder if he has anything left to pay for the second lawsuit. I was gonna mention that. I saw George talking to mom and dad about how he needed money. Just as I had guessed, that guy already had a bad habit of not valuing his savings. I wonder, is your dad maybe going to cover for him? I thought he was so manly that he was going to pay for everything. <laughs> if you expected that, then how about you do something? Give him the money from the divorce back. Why would I do that? He cheated on me and divorced me, and I have the right to receive every cent of that money. No, but it turned out to be a misunderstanding, right? There actually wasn't anything going on between them. And... We still got divorced. What do you think alimony is exactly? It's to make up for all the time and money that I lost by giving up my career to take care of him and his useless family. But they wouldn't have given you so much if it didn't seem like he was cheating on you. That's clear enough to show intent. Plus, there was that manly display of saying he'd happily pay everything in the divorce. <laughs> he did exactly as he said he would, though. Manned up and paid for the divorce by himself. That he did. I guess it was worth it to look cool in front of you guys. At any rate, he agreed to pay without any thought of what he would need that money for in the future. Does that help you to understand a little of how dumb he was? Or maybe you don't because you never study at all. <laughs> I heard your mom was angry about your grades. Uh... Shut up! I'm not the subject of the conversation right now. And who cares about grades? Maybe you had to because you're ugly, but I'm not like you. I'm actually popular and have a boyfriend. Have you talked to him recently? No, he hasn't responded to me. Why? That would be because he blocked you. What? Why? Stop making things up. You don't even know who he is. The lawyer we talked to suggested that we hire a detective so that we would have more proof to help us at court. They pretty much found all the connections between George and the people close to him. That includes family members. Although this information didn't help us whatsoever, we found out that your boyfriend was the lady's younger brother. <laughs> One thing led to another and I ended up showing him our conversations, just because he was there when we were discussing things at her house. <laughs> and you forced him to break up with me? No, he saw everything you said to me and was disgusted. I'm glad there was someone out there with some common sense. I thought I was the one going crazy. No, but he doesn't understand that it's your fault. I'm going to call him right now. Oh, I don't think that's going to work. He blocked you right there and then. I suggested that he at least talk to you, but he clearly had enough of you. That's unreasonable to just break up with someone without talking to them. It's great that you noticed. Now try and go back a few months and tell yourself that. If you could help George understand too, maybe we wouldn't be here right now. Oh, just shut up already. Why did he have to go as far as breaking up with me? I don't know. Why don't you ask him? Oh, yeah, because he blocked you. <laughs> it's so annoying. I'm only human. If someone talks to me nicely, I'll happily be nice to them back. I understand that I'm quite the petty person teasing you like this, even though you're 10 years younger than me, though. But hey, I think I'm justified a little when you consider what you've said to me. Stop treating me like a kid! I'm 17 already! That's basically an adult! Yes, exactly. You're still a kid, but you won't be for much longer. Which is why I tried to help you learn some life lessons. I think it might be too late for the rest of your family, but you still have time. Shut up! My mom and dad are the best! George, too! He shouldn't be the one being punished like this! Sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> Maybe you won't be growing up anytime soon. You don't have to be an absolute saint. I know that's not possible for you. My only advice to you now is to not look at George or your parents as role models. It's not good to abuse your position in a company to threaten people into relationships. I told you that I'm not listening to someone who isn't worth listening to. Sorry about that. I'll go and work on improving myself. <laughs> While I do that, you and your family can work on reducing your spendings. 
I doubt there's much left after the divorce and all the legal fees. George better find a new job soon. I really doubt there will be any jobs in the same line of work that would be willing to hire him, though. This incident did cause a lot of commotion, after all. Good luck with everything. I believe in you. Hey, wait a second! I have some questions that I need you to answer! Sorry, but I think I've helped you enough. I'm gonna block you now. Bye! Wait! You didn't actually block me, did you? Hello? Say something! Soon after, I was spammed with multiple messages and calls from Anna, but she gave up after a few days with no success. I know this because I didn't actually block her. <laughs> it started off with me just teasing her a little in return for everything she said, but I did take it a tiny bit too far. I do think it was for the best for her, though. Maybe it seemed petty or cruel, but I'm convinced that the lessons she learned with this incident will benefit her in the long run. Okay, maybe I'm not 100% convinced, but I think there's a chance. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't grow up to be like another George. As for me, I think I'm doing pretty well. Surprisingly enough, I'm actually working at the company that I used to. Yes, the same one that forced me into the marriage. After the lawsuit, they got rid of all the people in power who were involved in those corrupt acts. Then they reached out to me, assuring me that I had a safe workplace to return to. I took that offer and I'm living a stable yet uneventful life. Not complaining at all, but maybe it's time for me to relearn what a real relationship should feel like. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit like if you enjoyed this video, and make sure to subscribe to see more similar content. See you in the next video!